Hey guys and gals, Kez here. Today we're going to do a video guide for Overlord 10 Tempest Queen. The team setup for this is pretty flexible. You can go with two healers or one healer, and then three DPS or two DPS and one tank. Just as long as the uh, total DPS is above 160k, you shouldn't have too many problems uh, with this dungeon. If you do go with one healer, the one healer will need to be extremely strong though to get you through it. The first boss is the biggest challenge for the healer. Uh, the main issue is he has two attacks. One is he does this spin attack that leaves fire on the ground. And then the other thing that he does is he throws a bottle or hammer at someone. That person needs to immediately use a movement ability to uh, not get hit by in the fire. They will then be stunned and take massive damage. If they're in the fire, they're just dead. If they manage to uh, blink or use a movement ability before the fire gets on them, then possibly the healer can keep them up with massive heals and then if they have a defensive ability on top of it. This fight generally turns into a race. How quickly can you kill him before he uses up all of your reses as a party? The better job you do at surviving one or two of the bottle slash hammer attacks, the better chances you will have at uh, clearing this boss.
the second boss is much easier. Uh, just really one or two things to look out for. He does this big AoE attack called Captain's Wrath. After casting that, he will then charge the furthest non-tank away from him and put a massive dot on that person. What you want to do is have people who have a defensive ability up to rotate to be the furthest away. So that way, as soon as he charges them, they can then use their defensive ability along with a large amount of heals to survive it. And then the only other thing he does is he casts barrels and again, you just move out of it. The uh, third boss fight is generally very difficult for melee, and the more melee you have, the harder this fight becomes. He casts a uh, random pattern attack that you just find a safe spot, that's usually not that bad. Uh, he has a skill that is interruptible, that's not an issue. The issue is he casts a bunch of different targeted AoE attacks, um, and the uh, the more melee you have, the more it's going to be up front, and so the harder it becomes to dodge them all. The smaller circle AoE attacks that he places on you 
will generally one shot if we do not get out of them and the larger circle ones generally do damage over time so if we have to choose which one to get hit by choose the larger one as you will have a better chance of surviving it This concludes my video guide for Tempest Queen on Overlord 10. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.